Hey guys, this is Maddie's Daddy 12. I am Jason, and that is Peggy. And we are trying to move a little closer to our goal, aren't we, babe? Yep. We went to the thrift stores today. We actually only went to one thrift store today, and uh, she did much better than I did because she's she's this this thing is growing on her. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a lot better eye than what she uh, she gives herself credit for. Um, because she picked out some stuff that was uh for, was pretty good. And actually, going to be a lot of the profit we make today is going to come from what she picked out. Uh, but first, no clothes. No clothing. No. Well, no, we did get some clothing. You got some clothing. I I got the clothing. Yes. <laughs> um, but uh, Friday, I actually got that flag, that Atlanta Braves flag. Um, I think that's going to sell for around eighteen dollars. And I got that for a dollar fifty at St. Vincent de Paul. Yay! So I'm gonna get that sold. Uh, it's just a yard, like banner kind of thing, like a yard flag. Um, but it's pretty cool. Like I could see somebody hanging that up in their room or something. Like it's pretty neat. All right. So into the haul for today. So something that I picked up that Peggy wasn't so sure about was this one. This. Huh? I, did. I thought this was dumb. You thought this was dumb? And then I showed you the comps. Yeah. So it is a plastic CD shelf. It holds CDs in their case. Um, I don't remember what that... I believe it's Alpha brand. Yeah. We don't have any CDs to show them. No, we don't have any CDs out here to show them. Um, but it holds CDs... And the cool thing about this is you got the holes in it. You see the holes in the back? Oh, yeah. You can People, hang on the yeah, wall. you can hang them on the wall. People are, are hanging these things on their wall again. And um, for whatever reason, they're gaining a lot of popularity. We got that for $4, and it is selling for around 20 So after it sells, after fees and our costs, we should make about 11 or $12 on that one. Now, the one below it, you actually got an even bigger kick out of it. Why don't you grab it for me? Oh, gosh. This thing is so old. <laughs> it is. No, I'm sorry. Not old. It's vintage. vintage. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this one is a Case Logic, and it holds 60 CDs. Uh, and the same thing, you can pull these shelves out, and you can mount them oh, to the yeah. wall. I didn't see that. So, uh, and it'll hold 60 of them. But most people, uh, if you're not hanging it on the wall, you're, of course, using it as the briefcase and you're carrying your CDs in it. Um, I got that for $4 also. I believe it's $4. Yep. Okay, no strap with it. Well, I was going to say, no shoulder strap, but both of the uh, zippers zip really well and you can put a strap on it. How much do you think that's going for? I don't know, but I bet those guitar straps we have on our... <laughs> Peggy's trying to upsell you guys uh, <laughs> but uh, this actually goes for the 60 count case actually sells for around $45 wow. you didn't know that did you no, I've been telling you I still you. think it's ugly you still think it's ugly <laughs> I want to do a, uh, a a new segment with you and uh, I told you about this, and I'm going to tell these guys, so that way you're you're suckered into it. Oh, is that right? I want to do a reaction video and show Peggy some of the weird things that sells on eBay just to get her reaction to it. Uh. <laughs> but I paid four dollars for that Case Logic case, and it's going to sell for probably around forty. So uh, that's going to be a pretty decent little thirty dollar profit on it. Oh, Peggy's got her hands on the uh, Pokemon belts. Are they um, supposed to do something when you push them? Uh, unlock. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> they, I found a couple Pokemon belts. Uh, it, they were in the kids section. Kids belts are 50 cents a piece. And they Velcro. Yes, and they Velcro. So I got one that has the Pokemons, the Pokeballs around it. And then this one has, I don't know what that is. It's it looks like grass. Well, yeah, like grass type logo thing. You're you're having fun with those. Making sure they work. I don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh, we got a visitor. Are you wanting to join us? Why are your teeth purple? 
<laughs> oh no. What happened? She ate a ring pop. Oh man. Okay. They, they uh, have tongue painters or something like that. <laughs> tongue painter ring pops. There you go, guys. That's the result. Um, all right. You want to talk about? We'll talk about the last couple of things that I got. Uh, the only thing that I've got right now that's any real profit is that Case Logic. Uh, I got this uh, Kentucky jersey. It was in the kids section also for two dollars. It will probably sell in the booth for I don't know. What do you think? About eight dollars, seven or eight dollars? It's more than what I was going to say. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I, priced, I priced the clothes low. I don't know. All right, uh, at a Fashion. flea market, we got some cards along with some of the cards that I keep for myself. Uh, <laughs> a lot more. Uh, these are going to get resold. Uh, some rookie cards from the 80s uh, and 90s. There's a Jack Morris rookie from the 70s. Uh, Kirby Puckett, uh, Greg Maddox rookies from the 80s, 85 and 87, Vintage. respectively. Vintage. Uh, 1990 Tops Frank Thomas rookie card. A couple Randy Johnson score traded rookie cards. Uh, from 89. And then these guys, uh, Adam Duvall, uh, Tops Chrome. Uh, this is his first Bowman card. Uh, guys are pretty hot little prospect right now. Uh, they had three of them for a dollar a piece. They're going for like eight bucks on eBay. So a super easy shipping item right here. Uh, I went ahead and picked them all three up. I keep, I'm keeping one of them because I collect that kind of thing. Um, and I've already got multiples of the rest of those. Um, so going to try to make some profits uh, on these. I paid two dollars for it. It should sell for around ten. I paid a dollar a piece on these. They should sell for about eight. Paid fifty cents each on those. That guy should sell for about five or six. That should probably be a dollar or two. Not a real big profit on it, but again, an easy shipper. Uh, that Jack Morris rookie card will probably sell for about two or three, and those will probably sell for about two or three dollars a piece also. Uh, not real big profit on these compared to some of the other stuff. When I tell you, like, is it really worth my trouble? But this is something that I really enjoy. It makes it a lot more fun to deal with. Uh, next, we get to get into some of the things where Peggy outdid me. Like, while I'm looking at all this other stuff that was not making us any money, Peggy went and did the, the hard work and found the stuff that's actually going to make us a little bit of money. Surprisingly. <laughs> surprisingly yeah. no you did much better today than i did so grab that first little thing there Pe or janelle peg somebody yes. a little walkman a linux sound cassette player with headphones yes uh it still has the original headphones with it those are original i believe they are yes uh, the the emblems on the side uh, or the 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 text on the side matches the text on the the player, so it makes me believe that those are the original headphones. They're in really good condition. Usually that foam dry rots. Yes. So we paid how much? Three dollars. Three dollars, and that cassette player, that personal cassette player, will sell for about seventeen dollars. What? Yes. What? Vintage stuff, man. I'm telling you, it's what they're into. Do they even make cassettes anymore? Is that why they're, they're vintage and they're collectible and people want them because well, they no, don't make them anymore? They're vintage because they're over 20 years old. Oh. So I'm, I'm vintage. <laughs> barely. <laughs> barely. All right, what's the next one up there? We got a couple of Discmen. Yes. This one. This one is pretty cool. This one is a Dura brand. Uh, what do we pay for that one? We paid two dollars for that one. That one is another one that's going to sell for around fifteen. So I don't know if this is exclusive to our Goodwill, but what I like to do when we go is on the tag when they price it, it shows that it's the date that I guess they priced it and yeah. put it out there. And these weren't even out on the shelf very long. They weren't. Did they get put out there today? This one was the eleventh, and this one was the eleventh, and this one was the ninth. Oh, so, and today is the 14th. So, they were all out there for about three days. Not not a real long time. But that one is going to sell for about $15. Probably, I'll probably end up taking, let's be honest, I'll end up taking an offer of $12 on that one. It has a little uh, charger thing, too, if you can find one. Hey, I won't worry about a charger for that one. But, the next one has a charger. It does. It has a radio, also. Oh, it has a radio. Ooh, so this one's an AM, FM, CD player. 
has the old school. The old school charger? Yeah, I mean, everybody's going to the USB-C now, so it's like the micro USB or whatever. Oh, fancy. This one is not vintage. This one actually kind of surprised us a little bit. There's a CD in here. Oh, a freebie. <laughs> we got a freebie. What what CD do we get? Carrie Underwood. Oh. Some parts. Is that one good? It's got Jesus take the wheel on it. Oh, man. <laughs> we got a freebie. Hey, that's a pretty decent CD if you like country music. It is. I like Carrie Underwood. Do you? you just got a free CD. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one has a radio on it. So it's got an AM FM radio. It is a CD player. It is rechargeable, but Oh, it's got that ESP on it. Uh-oh. Where it can like read my mind or something? The electronic skip protection. That's Ooh. the thing. You know, you have to keep Oh, I thought it, I thought ESP meant that it it's to the Spanish. <laughs> this is what she has to deal with, guys. This is what she has to deal no, with. That's SAP. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. This one's not vintage, though. It is not vintage. It is the ONN own brand. Uh, you can actually get that brand new at Walmart right now. Uh, we didn't realize the brand whenever we were looking it over. Um, or I didn't see the brand on it. Uh, I actually thought it was an. I, I just glancing at it when you handed it to me, I thought it was RCA. Oh yeah, I did too. It was made in 2015. It is not vintage. Not vintage. Uh, so the last things that we got are these books. Woohoo, books. Because, you know, books are awesome at Goodwill. And books are awesome at Goodwill, and Peggy loves her some books. Uh, the first one that she's holding there is Eclipse. Uh, we buy the Twilight books and the Hunger Game books and... <laughs> Fifty Shades books and Harry Potter books. We buy all those books that we can put into sets. Um, that's Eclipse in hardback. Unfortunately, we actually already have like three copies of Eclipse in hardback. Uh -oh. So it's not one of them that we needed. But eventually we will find the others and we will make a set out of that. And that will get sold as a set in hardback. Uh, the next one is uh, I picked up some things that I wanted. Uh -huh. Personal buy. Yes, I picked up some things for my personal buy. Peggy found her a personal buy. I love Shadowhunters. She loves her some Shadowhunters book series. This is actually the a new newer book that came out earlier this year, so I was very surprised to see it. You know, maybe somebody picked it up and started reading. And it's actually the second series for this time period from the shot. There's a lot of them. We won't even go into that. <laughs> Show us the but back. They probably you, they, didn't like it. This you got all the yeah, other. See, there's a lot of them. There's all yeah. kinds of. And there's even more than that. Yeah. It's a lot. But so it's a good series if you like it. So they probably picked up the book thinking that it was the first in the series, but it's not actually the first in the series. It's like. It's the, the first. Twenty fifth in the series, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but so. it's it's the first in that storyline. Yeah. But still, you need to have the back history of the rest. So she probably thinks it was it was something along those lines. Anyway, about it. Two bucks. She got it for two bucks, and it what it what's what is it on the on the cover? Uh, retails twenty five. Retails twenty five. Meyer had it for eighteen. Yeah, they do a run of. Um, a lot of, like, even I think Walmart sells it for, like, discounted the first run. This is a collector's first edition. So, when they first come out, they drop them down a little bit. Yep. All right, guys. That was our haul. Uh, if you are interested in any of this stuff, head down in the description and check out the link to our eBay page. And you can purchase any of this stuff over there. Not my book. Not her book. <laughs> <laughs> um, also check us out on Instagram I'll have a link down below to that also uh, you can get some sneak peek pictures of any of this stuff and a picture of our freebie oh yeah <laughs> so uh, I appreciate it guys subscribe comment down below any questions you have and what should they do uh, show how much you love us show us how much you love us